Hi, welcome to this how-to video. Today I would like to explain to you how to use an AccuSense camera on a normal NVR. In this case we're using an iSeries in NVR using the GUI 4.0. Later on this might be available soon for the K-Series also, but for now the iSeries can support this kind of function. Let's go inside the NVR to see what kind of settings we need to do. Um, yeah, let's go there. So inside of the NVR, we already connected the camera. We need to go to the system settings and inside of the system settings, we will find the event and then we will find the smart event. So here is our configuration page. Using an AccuSense camera on an NVR, we can use the line crossing, we can use intrusion, region exiting or region entrancing. So they all will be available because this is actually information that's coming from the camera. So using this page, we're actually setting up from the NVR, we're setting up the camera itself. So that's why we will, we will have the same settings from the camera inside the NVR as well as inside of the camera. So using the line crossing, for example, I need to enable it. I can select how many line crossings I would like. In this case, I will only choose one. I will draw an area. Let's draw an area just here in the middle. I can set the direction. As you can see right here, you see the angles, arrows changing here. So choose any one we would like. I will use the double direction right now. And then we can set the sensitivity. Sensitivity settings might be important. Why? If I'm putting it like in the middle right now, that means 50% of the image of, of the object actually needs to cross the line. I'm using it a little bit higher because we're really close to the camera and we're inside. So let's say 75. Just play around with this kind of setting so you have uh, the accurate one for you. Next thing I need to check mark if I want to do the, the target classification for human or for vehicles. And one important thing you need to know is that if I'm later on going to, do to use some playback, if I'm using a normal iSeries NVR, I will be able to do the target classification playback and search. If I'm using IVMS, I will not be able to do this target classification search. I will be able to do the event type search, let's say line crossing and intrusion. So this is something important you need to know. We have done all the settings right now. So the only thing left is to click apply. Okay, let's move on to the web browser. So here we have the web browser. I already opened it. We can go to the configuration page of the camera. We go to event, basic event and smart event. And inside smart event, of course, we will find the line crossing, uh, intrusion, region entrance detection and exiting detection. So in this case, I will choose the same one. I will, we choose line crossing before. It was already enabled from the NVR, etc., etc. Uh, the arming schedule can be done and the linkage method. This is important because this setting we cannot do from the local NVR. So this setting we need to do by the web browser. And within this one, we can uh, enable the white light flashing and we can enable the audio alarm warning. And like I said in my previous video, if you have done this, we save it. We can go to the basic event and inside of the basic event, we can assign how many seconds we want to be able to the flashlight to be there and how frequently we want the flashlight to uh, respond. Another setting we might change is the audio warning. We can have multiple options, as you can see here. Um, audio warning, this is a restricted area, please keep away. You know, uh, choose any of those that you would like uh, for you to use. Press save and you're actually done. Now we have done the settings from the local NVR. We have done the settings from the web browser. Now we are able to use it inside of the NVR. Let's see if we can find back uh, some event type and if we can play back some target classification clips. So inside of the NVR again, um, one important notice immediately, or let's go to the, to the live image first. Inside of the live image, we have this function and it's the smart detection. So I will ask my colleague right now to cross the line that we have set it up and see if it pops up the alarm uh, as we have configured it. Warning. Yeah. This is a restricted area. Thank you very much for that. You can see the 
the strobe light of the camera and you probably also heard the alarm m uh, message that we have selected so if I click on this you will be able to have the video playback immediately from the live screen but often you want to search afterwards we want to search afterwards for the event type or you would like to do the, cla the target classification search first I will explain the event type we did set up the event type line crossing so from the playback manual we have the ability to select line crossing here and do the search for the line crossing and as you can see here if I play the latest clip this will be the normal playback like any other event that we're having and it's doing the line crossing as we've shown there if I would like to do the target classification search I go to the file management as you can see here above here I have two options the human classification as I have set it up inside of the camera and NVR or I can have the vehicle classification in this case we use the human classification I can set the time period I can select the camera and I press search and again we will have the video clip from the event type and the classification of a human in this case so let's go inside of the IV mesh again I will show you the type that I'm using, the version that I'm using, in this case I'm using 2.8.22 if you will be able to have the same functionalities please check if you have the same version if not, please download from the portal the latest one ok, we have done this before we can use the behavior analysis as you can see here maybe you have a fresh in installation and it will not pop up in the model customization, modules customization, like here you can enable a lot of things so in this case you need to enable the behavior analysis yeah please make sure that you connect check mark this one press ok and you will find it inside of your control panel so inside of the control panel I can double click or click on the behavior analysis I can select the DVR and the channel NVR that we're using select line crossing as a behavior analysis select the time period correctly and press search so now I will be able to play back exactly the same clip I hope you really like this uh, short video a short instruction of how to set it up how to control and how to use it and even how to play back and search thank you for watching see you next time